Hi guys, today's video is very, very important. I will be teaching you how to avoid unexpected massive loss while trading. Let me tell you guys, trading sometimes is fun, you will make money, but sometimes you might be trading and you don't know what to, what is going to happen. And as you're trading so comfortably and so relaxing, you just get one candle of, let's say, 400 pips, 200 pips against the direction that you are in. And you see that one comes to interfere with either your capital, either you blow or you enter into a massive drawdown or you close. You are forced to close that negative because failure to do that, it can result to some so many things. So that's what I need you, I, I need to teach you how to avoid unexpected massive loss while trading. And by the way, when this happens, what I mean, unexpected loss is, let's say someone was trading. Imagine someone was trading here. They had seen this resistance, okay? This is what I mean by massive uh, trading. So someone had seen this resistance and they saw this double top. So they saw this first top and this second top. So they entered here. Maybe they didn't have a very good entry way, but they entered here. Uh, this was their entry. So when you enter here, the first, immediately you enter, they got this massive bullish marubozu candle. It's a bullish angle and it's 39 pips immediately. So the market continues going up. And this is what I'm saying. How do you avoid this? You are trading very well. Immediately, you sold here because of this double top. The market goes against you. And I have seen this quite a while where you are trading very well. Let's say even here, um, uh, maybe you had said, you had seen, oh, there's a, the sellers are coming in. Maybe you sell and then the market goes against you. How do you avoid that? Or how do you know in advance the market will go against you? Before I continue, I want to tell you guys to be careful. There are many people impersonating to be Esther Morfrey on Telegram, TikTok, YouTube, all the social media handles that you know. They have scammed a lot of people and I have said, let me just warn people. This is the only number you can reach me with. Plus two five four seven zero zero three forty four zero sixty six. If you're interested with any of my services, I only have a recorded course that is a thousand dollars. It has twelve modules, ten profitable strategy. So don't be scammed by someone saying on TikTok. Most of they are there on TikTok saying that you send them bitcoins and then they will trade on your behalf and then they will do all these things or they have a program. Those are scammers, so be careful. Another thing, someone may ask, why do you charge a thousand dollars per? I have ten profitable strategy. Every strategy is a hundred dollars. So if you want to buy one strategy, the only issue when you go that route, the strategies are planned in um, how do I say? You cannot just buy the ten strategy. It, if you have to buy. If you want four strategy from me and you have $400, you will get OPT, BWA, RBV, RWR. So you can, it's not you to say, this is what I want. You will buy according to the, um, to the order that it is, uh, it is taught. And because the strategies are interconnected, it's just that you see the way, uh, what is it? Is the way you bake a cake, there is no way you will add eggs when the cake is in the oven. That process, it's when you are adding the ingredients. So when the cake is in the oven, the only part is to wait for the cake to, to, to be cooked and then you remove it and then you start with the icing and decorating. So when you're decorating, it's not the time to eat the eggs. And that's how my strategies are. You cannot start with the last strategy because you'll get lost. So get these, you can purchase any of the strategies that you want from a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars. If you want all the 10 strategies, you pay a thousand. If you want five of them, you pay five hundred dollars. If you want three strategies, you pay three hundred dollars. So there's that option. But you see, I will give you 
as to what you will purchase. So don't don't buy two strategies and you hear from the strategies the next day there's something missing and then you tell me that missing you have to pay for it and it's a hundred dollars. So if you're interested, uh, you can you can if you're interested and then if you pay a thousand dollars for the strategies, if I come up with any other strategies, you get lifetime mentorship. But if you buy only two strategies, there's no lifetime mentorship. You only get lifetime. And if you buy two strategies, you have a separate group from the one who is buying the free course. Because in the group of the, those who buy the full course, I post everything. So if you just buy two, three, I will put you in a different group where you are pending people to either complete. So you can only attain lifetime mentorship once you complete to pay the full package of $1,000. So how do we avoid? Many people will come and try to analyze this market and, and understand what I mean by uh, how to avoid. You know, right now, you may not know what I mean, but imagine this is, your, uh, this is your analysis. You have found that this is your resistance. Resistance is created when a green candle is followed by a red uh, a candle. So we have a resistance. Whenever a resistance is created, you have to ask yourself three things that happens at resistance. So there are three things that I teach in the course, three things that happens at resistance. So the first thing that I will teach here for free is at resistance, we have the break of resistance. So whenever the market approaches a resistance, the market, this resistance, we are anticipating the break of resistance. And you have to understand Breaking of resistance is with the body. That's what we say the candle has broken. The resistance has been broken. So there's a difference between these two candles. So breaking, if the market has a week, we don't say the market has broke. If there's a week, this is not breaking. The first one is the one that has broken, not the second one. So this is the what we are waiting. So anytime you, you are waiting on resistance, you have to see this. Now, uh, if that is, remember when I, I told you you have to master three things. Once you analyze and get the resistance, the entry point is waiting for that resistance to be broken. So we can see that resistance has been broken. Can you see that resistance has been broken? So once the resistance has been broken, for me, with my students, we have a strategy we follow here. And because I don't want to talk of uh, the BWA strategy. I don't want to talk of BWA strategy. Here we apply with my student BWA strategy. But for you guys, once the resistance has been broken, we can we can buy and target like 20, 30, 40, 50 pips. But keep in mind, this breaking can be a fake out. So how you know if the breaking is a fake out or it's a real uh it's a real break or uh, an actual break the BW strategy will help you. Let's say we just know breaking, we are targeting, let's say 20 pips, let's say 25 pips or 30 pips. So we are targeting 30 pips because the resistance has been broken. So what happens is that whenever you are targeting 30 pips, you see the market only went 21 pips, didn't hit the take profit. So majority of people don't understand that. You can have a very good entry. That person entered this market because the resistance had broken. At least they have a good entry. For them, they will never enter a market if the resistance is not broken. And majority of, of strategies, they are builded by resistance breaking. That's when people start building their strategy. So whenever they enter, that's a good way to enter the market. Now, the question is, if you enter, where do you target? So this particular person was targeting 30 pips, but you can notice the market has only gone with 21 pips. And if we notice the candle that has been uh, formed is not a very good candle. Why? Because we have the presence of the week. So this presence of the week, it tells us that there is something that is rejecting the buyers. So the ignorance, if you have the ignorance of understanding what the week tells you, and this is why I tell people, you may think paying $1,000 is much, 
But imagine sometimes you'll be trading. You don't even know that this candle this is weak and it means rejection. You don't know because you're a beginner. You'll be blinded because you, you read somewhere, resistance breaking, I buy. Yes, you will buy. But once you buy the market, you have to keep on studying the candlesticks that are being formed. So in this case, this candle that has been formed, it's a warning candle. This is called a spinning top. So yes, it has a week, but it has a name. Spinning top, they come to, to, to reject, spinning top. So spinning top are rejection, rejecting candles. So they reject that area. So you will ask yourself, what is, what, what is happening? Yes, it's green candle. But do you know this green candle, this is four hour. This is four hour. The question is, on one hour time frame, how many candles do we have? We have four. On 30 minutes, how many candles do we have? We have eight. So you want to tell me in eight candles, there's so much data than just one green candle. And that's why many majority of people make mistakes. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to master how to avoid massive losses, massive losses is big ignorant because you got your entry, the market didn't touch your target. And now you even don't know why you're still targeting there and you're supposed to be exiting. So majority of people will not take this week as an exit. Do you know that? They will never take this as an exit, uh, as an exit candle. They will say, ah, it's green, it will go up. Okay. So I want to show everyone what really happened to this trade. And and I was I was really monitoring this trade. And I think um I think for me I was waiting for something. And I will tell you what I was waiting. I was never caught on this buy. It was so enticing. But if you hold up this market, let me tell you, this is GBPJ Pua. If this ever happens to you, you might never come back to Forex. And that's why I'm doing this video for this not to happen to you. So are you ready for the next candle? <laughs> that was the next candle, guys. Oh my goodness. That candle was huge. It was huge. Oh my God. This candle was 306 pips. One four hour candle. One four hour candle. Imagine. 305. And if you thought that was over, the market continued with how many pips? The market continued with 135 pips. So overall, the market went with, oh my goodness, 414 pips. Now the question is, how do you avoid such? Because you had entered, and that's what I'm saying, entry is the key. If your strategy is so, so shaky, because majority of people saw the breaking of this resistance they entered. And that's what I'm saying. If you have the BW strategy, you would have exited long time ago. So the question is, if I remove this candle, how would we have entered? Number one, we would have noticed this is a spinning top. And for me, I teach my students that anytime you see a candle with a wick, just know it's a spinning top and it's rejecting. So if we go, if we start going to lower time frame, like two hours, that's what you'll see. You'll see even we have an indecision. So from the lower time frame, you'll start recognizing that this market, so the, the resistance broke. So on four hours, we have a spinning top, but on two hours, we have an a cross. Cross is indecision candle. Indecision means the market can either buy or sell. So even if you didn't quite get what this candle really meant to you, if you really didn't get what this candle meant for you, on two hours, you would have gotten more attention. You would have gotten more detail. This candle is cross. This is a cross. If we go to one hour, if we go to one hour, we have two crosses. We have some dodges. Like this market was screaming, I don't want to do what? I don't want to go up right now. So if you go to 30 minutes, you can see now where the market had given us. I told you that one candle on four hour, this one candle is eight candles of 30 minutes. So the candle started at eight. So we will start to see our first candle at eight. This was a spinning top. Then we got a very shooting star. You can imagine this is your market giving you all this. 
So for me, I would say, if buyers are stronger, let them break either way. So I am confident because this is arranging. I better use arranging strategy rather than I better use arranging strategy rather than just using resistance to be broken. Because arranging strategy, what it ha it does, it strengthens a support or it strengthens a resistance. So whenever arranging breaks out either at resistance or the support, that breaking is taken seriously. So imagine this is the ranging you're seeing on 30 minutes, but on four hours, there's no ranging. It's only one candle. And that's what I was telling you. Have to be very, very careful when, when you are trading and you have to have a very, very good strategy. For me, I yes, the strategy of resistance works more so with BWA, but by working on it alone, I really, I really feel for those people who just work with naked like resistance like this. You have to go lower to the time frame to see what was happening. So the question is, if I have to buy, yes, for all you have told me to buy, but if I have to continue to buy, break on the upper side or break or be below so it's either you break upper or break below and now because remember there's someone who would have entered with the first candle because it was a good bullish momentum candle but the problem is this second candle the second candle is the problem is a spinning top having a very long week at the top meaning the market is getting rejected you'd have come out and you know you could not have come out with negative so the exit would have been nine pips and it is in profit. But when we look at the 30 minutes, we are seeing the reason of that spinning top is because the market ranged on 30 minutes. So what you'd have done, you would have waited. So how to avoid such massive drawdown, you'd have waited for either side to break. And you can see the market really rejected to break at that point. And this candle almost broke but it failed to break. And that's why you're seeing a very massive 30 minute candle. Oh my God, I don't know if there was news or something, but that candle is too big. So you would have been saved. And the, for you to notice that this market, when they broke on the downside, they continued. So if you had confidence of re-entering at that point, you would have made 135 pips immediately. This is 131 pips immediately. So at the end of the day, you have able to, to, to come out of this trade. The reason why I told you that exit is the important thing, even if you're wrong in the market, if you never exited this trade because, oh, I will exit with 400. Let's say you had, you had traded 0 0.01 and it's negative 40, uh, 40, $40 dollars because 400 which is around $40. Let's say you, ha you have a negative of $40 and your account is a is $100. And now the market has broken uh, even this main support. Can you see? There was this support that the market has broken, this support. So you're thinking there's no future on this trade. I was buying, I need to exit. Remember the three things, entry, target, the reason why this person never got the money, they over-targeted 30 pips. If they were targeting 10 to 20 pips, they would have gained the money. Again, if you don't now come out with this exit, we want to see what really happened to this trip. The market continued to sell. So at the end of the day, you might find that, yes, you have refused to come out. Yes, you have refused to come out from this level. You want the market to, to, to go back to your direction and to recover the money, but it is screaming close, close. Because if you failed to close, you could not have survived, even if it was $10,000 account. That drawdown was massive, more than 1,000 feet. So this is how you avoid all that hassle, guys. And I hope with, uh, I hope with this kind of a lesson, you will learn why I keep telling people that Paying for mentorship is one thing, but you have to know what am I being taught by this mentor? If I tell you guys that I'm teaching you 10 strategies is to avoid such things. 
is to notice where when reversals are happening, is to notice when uh, the momentum is continuing, is to notice when to enter, where to target, and how to exit. Basically, my, my lesson are on those three things. And that's why I tell people, when you enter into my class, either you have paid online or you have paid physical class in Kenya, um, when you come into my mentorship under my mentorship, I will, I will tell you five things. I may not promise you much, but I will promise you five things. Number one, by the time we are ending that two weeks, you will know when to buy. Number two, you will be able to know when to sell. Number three, you will be, in, you will be able to know when to hold. Holding makes people more money. Number three, you'll be able to know, number four, you'll be able to know when to exit. And number five, you'll be able to know when to avoid. Avoiding and exiting are totally different. And I will tell you this because it's something I have learned. More so when you have something that you're taking care of and you are limited to see the task, just avoid the market. I have learned the hard way. When you, when you don't, uh, when you don't avoid the market and you're so busy, your mind is so busy and you're not concentrating, something goes wrong because you, you're not utilizing everything, every tool that you got in your brain. Because maybe, let's say either you're visiting someone or you're going for hospital or you're, there's something you're planning, maybe you're planning a wedding of your friend or there's something that you're doing in the maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just avoid the market because when you trade, you're in the charts and then maybe you're going for functions, it does not go all the way. So with that being said, guys, I hope this lesson is very, very helpful to you. And the only thing you can do if you have not subscribed to this channel, make sure you subscribe because I'll be dropping three videos every day for your health, for your growth. And let's make money together. Let's make this money together. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.